going to the gym. Come along with me. Let's go. Shit's starting to get real, guys, because phase two of the Couch to Half Iron Man training starts on Sunday, and we are getting into the grind. Let's go. What's up, Brooklyn, and the rest of the world watching? It's Irene here, your injured trainer from B-Buff Wellness, and in today's video, it's gonna be quick. I'm just sharing with you what's going to be happening in phase two of this Couch to Half Iron Man journey that I am on. So, let's go. So with phase one, pretty much I'm in the last week of phase one. Working out is going a lot better the past couple of weeks than it has been the, probably the four weeks before. I've definitely been doing more workouts. A lot, most of them, almost all of them at home. But I have gotten to the gym for my swim workouts because I just love swimming. And I have gone to the gym for some strength training um, on the machines, which you saw in the beginning. And um, so I'm just preparing for the next stage. My last workout of this phase, phase one, will be on Friday. Saturday I get a rest and then Sunday I will, well, start phase two. So phase two of the Couch to Have Iron Man training program is a base training uh, phase. So what does that mean is that the phase one, phase one was building up my fitness to be able to start really training well. Six months on Sunday it will be to this half Ironman. So now we're really in that training phase. So base training will focus on swimming, biking, and running. And that's pretty much what I'll be doing the next eight weeks. Now, if after I do the swimming, biking, or running, if that day I want to do add some strength training to it, that is totally cool and great, and I probably will because I love lifting weights, but it is not required in this section. It is a big bonus because you want to keep up your strength, but with all the swimming I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be pretty damn strong by the end of it, so it's going to be great. I'm super excited. So what does phase two look like? Well, I'll show you what the first two weeks will look like. I don't know if you guys can read this. Phase two, weeks one and two. So it's swim, bike, run, rest. Swim, bike, rest. So that's my weeks. Working out five days a week. Each workout will be 50 minutes. So that'll be 50 minutes of swimming. That'll include regular crawl swimming, um, some pull drills, some um, kick drills, and things like that. Biking is going to be on at the gym. Believe it or not, I don't have a bike right now. Like a year ago, I had two. It's crazy. But um, I don't have any right now, so I'm going to use um, bikes at the gym. I might wind up doing some spin classes simply because those are great ways to get your biking in. Um, it does, is not um, make up for riding out in the street but it's what I have for me right now. I'm looking into getting a cheap road bike. I still have my bike trainer, so I'm going to do that. Um, get my trainer in for the season, uh, cause it's, gonna, it's already getting chilly outside being at the end of October. And I'm gonna get my biking in that way, but I'll have another bike within the next probably two weeks or so, so hopefully. And then running. Running, you will notice, is only one day a week and it's a run walk. Please remember I'm doing this training while having two herniated discs in my back, my lower back. So running is going to be a very big challenge for me, which is why the it comes right before my rest day. <laughs> I'm only doing it once each week, the first two weeks, because I wanna see how my body responds to actually running. And if you've been watching these videos from the beginning, you know the main reason I started this training for this half Ironman nine months before the event is because I wanted to be able to train properly. I wanted to get my body in gear 
and lower the risk of injuries. So that being said, I'm going to do the running, but very, very gently <laughs> in the beginning. I hope you guys who might be following this journey are excited to see um, my progress as I go through this. I'm gonna be sharing a lot more with you like I did with the video in the beginning of me doing a cheesy but effective workout. That's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't been following my journey but you're interested, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Don't forget to look at my book. It's on Amazon, Fit After the Fall, How to Regain Your Fitness Level After an Injury. Link is below. And with that, I will catch you guys on the rebound. Peace.